I'm marking out four holes in the various components then. We've two um, areas, we've got um, two seat halves and we've got two uh, seat rails which all have holes in. We need to be careful that we're reading the plans accurately because these holes have some similarities and some differences. For example, where are we finding data about how far in from the inside this hole is? Well, it's 25 millimeters in and it's telling us up at the top here um, and it's an appropriate assumption that this hole is gonna line up with it. Then we're being told that this hole is 75 millimeters in from that one uh, and again you know we can make the assumption that this one is in line with it we know that because it's actually going to attach the legs so we want the legs on square um, the thing that it can be tricky to identify is whether or not that data and we should double check is the same on the other side and which it is in this case on the seat 25 millimeters in from the inside, so if you've already cut your curve, make sure you are putting that 25mm in from the correct edge, and then another 75 This number, however, and you can see just from the plans that these holes um, on, say, the left-hand side are closer to the edge than the ones on the right. How are we finding out that number? Well, they're not graded in from the edge, they're graded in from the centre. So the number one job is to mark the centre line on both seat rails. So I'm going to do that now. It's a fairly simple process. You'll be familiar with it. I'm going to measure the length of the component. You could have a look at the plans and see, well, that uh, seat is 400 long. Or I'll check my component and it is. Um, and half of 400 is 200. Um, marking out tools, of course, steel ruler, pencil, not pen. I shouldn't need to say that at this level, but I'll remind you. Um, Try square and we're going to put that center line on. Now, I don't want to spend hours rubbing this out, so I'm only going to put it on um, just pale there. Uh, if I need to extend that line, which at the moment I don't know if I do, there is nothing wrong with keeping the brass stock hard up against the wood um, and adding in the steel ruler just to extend the line if you need to. Okay, there are bigger tri squares as well, always put them back in the tool wheel. Uh, then I'm going to keep hold of my ruler and I'm going to measure from that centre line and I'm going to have a look and I'm going to decide at this stage now is this the left hand seat or the right hand seat and I've marked it L there so we know which one we're working on and I'm going to measure out 173 from that centre line in millimetres 170, 1, 2, 3 put a little marker same from the centre line out to the other edge, 170, 1, 2, 3, put a little mark. Um, now I'm actually, because I need two holes on that line, um, I'm going to put my tri-square back on and project that line down the seat. Okay, um, the same again on this edge. What I could do to remind myself which one it is, is I could mark on here, one, seven, three. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set um, the marking gauge, and we've been using this tool since year seven, but it's about to come in pretty handy because I've got four holes to mark now um, at one, seven, three. Uh, two are gonna be 25 millimeters in. So if I set this 25, uh, obviously, this one's been organised backwards, but um, I'm going to sit the stock, sit the ruler on the stock, and slide the pin till it sits there at 25 millimetres. Lock off with the wing nut, then check it hasn't moved as I locked it. And this one's crept in a fraction. I don't like mine to be even a fraction off, so I'm going to change it there. Check it again. Now we've tightened it up, and that one. Is done now I've got to be careful where does my 25 come well my 25 comes off the inside straight edge not off the curved edge and you can see I've got a curve marked in here so I'm going to mark out 25 there and 25 there and again we use this uh, marking gauge by running the stock the metal block along the edge of the work, not focusing too much on the pin. 
Okay, I uh, can go over those with pencil if you want because it's going to be a drill hole, run to cross. So I'm going to make sure there's a cross there like that. Now I've got some choices. I can measure the 75 from that mark or I can measure 100 all the way from the edge. It's the same difference. This time I'll use a ruler instead of the marking gauge. Why? Well, I find it much less accurate over length. I tend not to use it for um, something much longer than 50 or 60 mil. Uh, you can. I tend not to. Okay, so I've got that left-hand one marked out there. Now, of course, when we do the right-hand one, we're going to come along 110 for this line, then 25 in and 75 in. 110 from the centre, 25 in and 75 in. And that is the marking out for the two, uh, the drill holes for the seat slats. And again, pilot hole countersink. 